string is the most important data type as far as Python language is concerned. String is something that you're gonna be working with throughout this Python course and in each and every project you do, strings are gonna come on your way. If you know how to pass strings properly, if you know what kind of string function is used for which thing, you will save a lot of your time a lot of your energy and a lot of your effort as well. So let's go to a computer screen and see how strings work in action. So guys, as you can see, I'm inside my Visual Studio code and now we are going to be exploring strings. So guys, I'm going to be discussing strings now. So let us make a new file here. I'm going to be naming it tutorial5.py and .py is basically the file extension and we are just writing text inside that which is our python syntax so i hope you are not uh, getting confused by that uh, whenever you are writing a python program all you have to do is save it with this py extension and you will be good to go so uh, talking about strings so let me write strings here and i'll be commenting this line so that this line acts as a heading we have already discussed about comments and if you haven't already accessed the playlist i will ask you to access it right away if you haven't already done that so now what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be creating a string so i'll say name is equal to harry so whenever i'm writing a string i will have to tell my python interpreter that hey python interpreter i want this harry to be interpreted as a string so Python interpreter will say, all right, Harry, uh, all you have to do is just enclose it by double quotes and uh, you can also enclose it by single quotes and I will be knowing that you are writing a string. So this is called string literal. So let me write a comment here. So this is nothing but string literal. This is a fancy name of whatever I told you, uh, enclosing in the double quote and telling that this is a string. Now we can also have multi-line strings. So let us say uh, description is equal to and if I write something enclosed in triple quotes and I say this is the best man on this planet and this Python course is the best uh, on this uh, on this planet I also have to close it using the triple code since I uh, started it with triple quotes now if I try to print name and I run this program, you'll see that Harry will be printed on my screen. Again, if I uh, press Control D to replicate this line and I change this name to description, let me write down description and let me press Control S and I'll be running this program once again. It will be showing me Harry. And whenever you are running your program, uh, first time on your PC, it will take some time because you know it, it it takes some time. So if I remove this description, you'll see Harry printed on the screen. And again, if you include this description, you will see uh, Harry as well as the description. So I've given a space here. If I remove this space here and run it again, you will no longer see the space here. And you know what I am talking about. So this was basics of single line strings and multi line strings. So uh, these were multi line strings multi-line strings i'm writing it like this so that it serves as notes for you now we'll be talking about uh, string slicing so a string is nothing but an array now you might say what are you talking harry what is an array you didn't tell what an array is let me tell you something a string is an array because it is nothing but a collection of characters so when i'm saying name is equal to harry i can always print let me comment this one i can always print name zero and if i say name zero i will get h printed on my screen now you all might ask me why 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 zero why not one uh, this is because index starts from zero in any programming language uh, i should say most of the programming languages uh, index will start from zero so in python index starts from zero and you can see h printed on my screen if i write name one then you can see uh, if i run this program it will print a on the screen this is because if i count from uh, starting from h zero one uh, one corresponds to a so i'm getting a on my screen similarly if i write two or three i should get r because uh, this is because 0 1 2 3 so at position 3 i have r so i'm getting r printed on my screen so this is basic uh, character accessing from a, a string now we can do something called slicing and i'll be telling you about slicing here so if you do something like this if you say 
from 0 to 4 it will give you 0 1 2 and third character but not 4 so let us see how it works so if i run it you can see 0 1 2 3 but not 4 so including this one but excluding this one so 0 2 and minus 1 so it will be giving you all the characters from 0 to n minus 1 now 0 here is optional if you leave it blank it will automatically fill this with 0 so if i save this and if i run it you'll see that I'm again getting the same result, which is H-A-R-R. -R. One more thing that I want to show you is, let me write it down here so that you have it. These both are identical uh, for this string. Now again, I'll be showing you one more example wherein uh, slicing will be identical. Let me remove this print description. I'll be copying these two lines and again I'll be pasting it here and I'll show you how you can slice like this so you can say something like uh, print 1 to 4 so it will start from 1 2 and 3 so it will give me three characters at index 1 at index 2 and at index 3 because 4 is not included so this is the slicing rule and it starts from 1 and it will end at n minus 1 where n is the this one 4 so it will start from 1 and it will go up till 3 so i hope you got this one now i want to show you something if i count the number of characters in this string 1 2 3 4 5 so if i go from 0 to 5 so if i say 0 to 5 uh, let me remove this i'll uh, modify this one 0 to 5 it will show me the entire string, it will show me Harry. But again, if I say 0 uh, to blank, it will automatically fill this with the length of the string. So if I run this one, it will again show me Harry. Now what I want to tell you is if I remove this 0 and if I remove this and I run it, it will show me Harry because it will automatically fill this one with 0 and this one with the length of the string which is 5. So I hope if you see these blanks anywhere in any Python code that you are looking at, you will not get confused and you will automatically fill it with 0 and the length of the string. So these both are again identical now we'll see some of the important string methods so what i'm gonna be doing is uh, i'm gonna be printing string methods so that i know where i started typing string methods in the output and also i'll write here string methods and i'll comment it and i'll give myself some space again uh, what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be starting with length so uh, let me create a new fresh string fresh is equal to harry uh, or let me say programming with Harry and I'll press Control S and if I print this string uh, no surprises you'll see the string uh, now if I say print len string sorry not string uh, the name of the string is fresh so I'll have to type fresh and now if I run this program you'll see that the length of this entire uh, string will be displayed so if I remove this one and if I save it and run it you will see 5 printed on this uh, on the screen so if I say the length of this string is and if I press comma and save it, you'll see that uh, the length of the string is 5 will be printed on the screen. So uh, this is len function which prints the length of the string. Now you might be thinking what this function is, what are functions. We are going to be dealing with functions very, very soon. But for now, uh, you just think of function like something. Uh, it takes something and it will give you something and it is called return value of that function so if i talk about len function it's saying return the number of items in a container so this is uh, something visual studio code is helping me out with if i take my cursor to this len it's showing me return the number of items in a container so you can use len on a list and now list is something that we'll be talking about very soon but uh, len can be used on string to uh, calculate the length of the string now we'll see some more functions of strings and uh, we'll talk about strip. So let us say if I uh, if I do something like this uh, space and space and if I print A and if I run this program you'll see that this these spaces uh, sorry not A it's called fresh let me save it 
and you will see that the space and the trailing spaces are printed as it is so if you want to strip these trailing spaces all you have to do is you have to print fresh dot strip so if you print fresh dot strip strip is a function that will return a copy of the string with leading and trailing white space removed so if you take your cursor to any function visual studio code is going to tell you what is going on uh, with this statement so uh, if i come down and talk about another function which is lower so if i press ctrl d and i say fresh dot lower it will convert everything to lowercase let me be honest here guys the names of the functions in python are so so easy that by looking at the name you'll get to know what is going on so if i talk about uh, fresh dot lower it is converting it to lower and you guessed it right we do have upper function as well so if i print fresh dot upper it will print harry now one thing to note is when you type fresh dot strip it is not changing the original string which is fresh it is just returning a copy of the string to change the original string you will have to say something like fresh is equal to fresh dot strip that will change the value of my original string so this is something that you should take note of now we saw lower we saw upper now we'll say replace function so if i print fresh dot replace i'll give it a character let us say uh, i can give it a character or i can give it a combination of characters so if i replace h with l i can type something like this and if i run it it will uh, it will print larry for me as you can see that larry has been printed on the screen because it has replaced h with l if i replace h a with l u you will see luri printed on the screen because h a has been replaced with l u in this fresh string so i hope you understand what fresh dot replace is doing or any string dot replace does now we'll go and talk about split function let us say i have some comma separated numbers uh, let us say i have nums is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so i have this comma separated list of numbers this can be coming from a database or somebody might have given me uh, through a text file let us say i am a programmer and i have to parse these numbers so i can create an array of this string by saying print nums dot uh, split so i can split it by comma and this will return me an array uh, which is a list now again we'll talk about list later in this video but i just want to show you this string function which can convert a string Uh, with a list of numbers or with a list of these values the values that you are seeing in this original string so these were some of the string functions and i want you to go to the internet and look up for more string functions so all you have to do is type string functions python and you will get a lot of uh, websites and you will see the link of official documentation as well go to the documentation choose your python version and start practicing if you uh, start the habit of reading this python documentation i'm telling you that you will be benefited in the long term so uh, make sure that you go to this python documentation and find out where uh, the list of all string functions is and try all these string methods one by one so if you try these string methods and you know what method is doing what it will be easy for you to write efficient python programs once again if you haven't accessed this python playlist i would like you to go to my channel uh, just open it now and click on this uh, bookmark page button and all you have to do is save this playlist in your computer that way it will be easy for you to access and complete this course once again you can get all the code that i'm writing on this page in the description so uh, feel free to take all the code from the description i hope you're liking this video if you are then give me a thumbs up and also let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section below we'll be starting with an exercise very soon and i want you to complete that exercise and i'll be evaluating your solution as well if you solve the problem in the solution video of the exercise so make sure to solve that exercise uh, i'll be dropping in the exercise very soon guys i hope you know what string is now and you understood the concepts that i told you throughout this course we are going to be seeing more on strings as we progress through this course but 
but this was the basics of string that you must know if you like this video give this video a like if you have any doubt make sure to comment down below and access the playlist from the description this is very important because i'm gonna be adding more videos to the course playlist so make sure you have the course playlist link with you thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time